hello friends welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to show you class b calculation for the ip 172.16.0.0/18 first we need to identify the class of the given ip here the first octet is 172 which is in the class b range as shown in the table the default subnet mask of the class B address is 255.255.0.0. Now convert the default subnet mask to binary as shown here. In binary, all the ones are network bits and all the zeros are host bits. The slash 18 notation in the IP address is the CADR notation which means classless interdomain routing. Slash 18 means that 18 bits are used in the network portion of the subnet mask. As you can see here, in the default subnet mask, there are 16 bits in the network portion and 16 bits in the host portion. We need 18 bits in the network portion as per our given IP address. So in order to make it 18 bits, we have to borrow 2 bits from the host portion. Now we have 18 ones in the network portion and 14 zeros in the host portion. Here the decimal values of each binary bits are displayed. Now to get our new subnet mask, just add the decimal values of each bits in the octets and we get 255.255.192.0 The increment value is the decimal value of the lowest ones bit in the borrowed bit which is in the third octet. This bit value is incremented to find our subnetwork IDs. Here we have borrowed 2 bits from the third octet and our increment value is 64. Network ID is the first IP address on every network. Broadcast ID is the last IP address on every network. The usable IP address are those IP address which can be assigned to the host that comes in between the network ID and broadcast ID. Here our first network ID is 172.16.0.0/18. Since the increment value we get is in the third octet, we add the value 64 to the third octet to get our next subnetwork ID. Keep on adding the increment value until we get our last subnetwork ID. We know that the IP address range is valid from 0 to 255. Here our last IP address is 172.16.192.0. If we add 192 with 64, we get 256, which is not a valid IP range. First write down all the network IDs. Then it will be easier for you to write down all the broadcast IDs and the usable IP address. To get the total number of networks and hosts, we need to check the binary bits of the subnet mask. Since bits were borrowed from the third octet, we will count from the third octet only. Here 2 network bits and 14 host bits are available. Total number of networks available equals 2 raised to n equals 2 raised to 2 equals 4 networks. Total number of hosts available equals 2 raised to h minus 2 equals 2 raised to 14 minus 2 that is equal to 16,382 hosts on each network. I hope the video is clear to you. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comment section. Thank you for watching the video.